The Northern Territory's first ever lithium mining project is officially going ahead after Core Lithium made a final investment decision today. The company already has all regulatory approvals it needs to begin mining and exporting from its new project close to the top end capital. Core Lithium is claiming its Finnis Lithium project is the first significant new mine in the Territory in more than a decade. It says it will create 250 jobs during construction and operation, a claim which had the Mining Minister struggling to contain her excitement. Jobs, jobs, jobs for people here in Darwin, Palmerston, the rural area, over at uh, Mandora, at Dundee. This is going to be fantastic for locals. The proximity of the project to urban Darwin, unusual for a mining project, is a major drawcard. Located on the Cox Peninsula, only uh, 25 kilometres from, from where we are here, um, you know, within a 45 minute um, you know, hours commute from, uh, from the suburbs of Darwin. And then there's the product itself, lithium. A key ingredient in batteries like the ones needed to store renewable energy or power electric vehicles. We're seeing huge growth in electric vehicle take up uh, through Europe, uh, through China and more recently with a change of government in the US, you know, huge move. Works on the mine will begin in the coming weeks. It's expected to cost around $90 million to build. This is a significant new mine announcement and what I'm so thrilled about as Mining Minister and what this government is absolutely determined to deliver is more new mines to follow. Core Lithium predicts it will begin exporting lithium by 2022. Kate Ashton, ABC News.